So when Dave came to you, you must have thought, wow, this guy is crazy. It was definitely a different way of looking at things. We have never spent that kind of money on that kind of process. So here he's coming with us saying, you know, hey, why don't you make that manure into a renewable energy source? It was a little bit of one of those, yeah, you gotta be kidding moments. When I first came up with this idea, it wasn't just one person who thought it was a crazy idea. Not only did the farmers think it was unusual, we worked with uh, our regulators. They all looked at us like we were crazy because they said, wait a minute, in Vermont, people are already telling us our electric rates are too expensive. You're telling me you want people to pay four cents more. And uh, even the president of my company, he looked at me and he said, Dave, you know, renewable energy, that's wind and solar, right? What, what do cows have to do with renewable energy? And, you know, with a little bit of education and a little bit of understanding and cooperative work, we were able to put all the pieces together and convince those people that it really wasn't that crazy at all. So how does this work exactly? When the manure leaves the animals in the barn, it flows through an underground alleyway and into this pit, we call it the reception pit, and it can hold up to two million gallons of manure. And at this point, it gets pumped into the next step, which is the digester. You know, we know dairy yeah, farming, yeah. and this is like an electric plant, and it was so opposite anything we ever thought we would do, that it yeah. was a huge undertaking that way. We save probably over $250,000 a year from the cost of the bedding that we don't have to buy anymore and the fuel savings from using the heat from our digester. That is huge on a dairy because right now we're facing tough economic times. The price of milk is back to the 1930s and so our cash flow is pretty minimal. So it allows us to sell some power too from the co company, electric company, and take that money and put it back on our dairy. So our customers are saying, I know this is my neighbor, they're producing renewable energy. I'm willing to pay a little bit extra to support that project. And over the, the last five years, you know, we've created a, a demand of about 4,000 customers. That demand is strong and that's building confidence of our next group of farmers who want to build projects too. I, I just can't be more adamant about the fact that we, we joined Cow Power, we joined this renewable energy opportunity because it was the right thing to do. We see a significant number of jobs being created from these projects, particularly in construction. So we see a variety of different jobs involved there from architects to engineers. One of the really nice side benefits of these projects is a significant amount of odor reduction. You don't really know what that means until you're standing next to a manure pit. The bacteria that are producing the biogas consume the components of the farm waste that smell the worst. How do you feel about having less of a smell on the farm now? It's better because at first people are coming, yeah, your manure smells really bad. Um, kids come up to me at school and they're like, hey, your parents make electricity out of poop. I'm like, yeah, and I think a lot of people notice that we're doing something good for the community and they like that. It, it is power to the people. I mean, we're not, uh, we're not waiting for a government or Wall Street or anybody to help us be who we are. 